Hi everyone, welcome back to Nurture and Neurodiversity. I, a while ago, I started a series on lessons in autism parenting, um, and I only actually did one video. <laughs> so, uh, my plan is to do a few of these short videos that just explain some of the lessons I've learned along um, the road of parenting a child who is diagnosed with autism. My son Dexter is almost four years old. He was diagnosed with autism at three. Um, if you want to find out more about our situation, then please go and check out some of our other videos. We are still relatively quite early on in this journey, so I'm learning new things every day and I thought it would be really fun to just share those lessons that I've learnt and if you guys have any lessons that you've learnt recently that you think would help somebody else, please leave them below in the comments. So today I'm going to talk about something that was really important in finding peace with this whole um, diagnosis of autism and seeing the joy and the positivity in it and in raising my son who is wired differently. Now in psychology there is a personality construct called locus of control. Locus of control is the degree to which a person believes that they have control over the things that happen in their lives. Somebody with a strong external locus of control will put a lot of things down to fate or bad luck um, or good luck whereas a person with a very strong internal locus of control will believe that everything that happens is a result of something that they've done or something they've not done. A very quick example is somebody who fails a test. Now somebody with an external locus of control might think that they failed the test because the test was too hard. Somebody with an internal locus of control will say they failed the test because maybe they didn't study hard enough. I have always had a very very strong internal locus of control. Uh, which sounds great, right? I believe I'm in control of my own destiny. I can, you know, go out and take on the world and do what it takes to achieve my goals. Um, and in many situations it is a very good thing but there is a situation in which having an internal locus of control is not great and that's when a situation is unresponsive to anything you do when a situation is completely out of your control for example your child is developing differently and it doesn't matter how hard you try or, or what you do it doesn't change the fact that your child is very very different to their peers and um, achieving their milestones in a very different order. So you start thinking, okay, I'm not changing the situation, I'm not doing very good at this, I am a failure, and I'm going to be very raw and honest with you right now. Um, in the beginning, I genuinely believed if I put the work in, I could help my son enough to the point where he could blend in with his neurotypical peers. Uh, not only was that incredibly naive but it was also very very offensive to autistic people like my son why why do i want him to pretend to be somebody that he's not but that was a time before i was brave enough to you know challenge my own perceptions around autism and you know connect with the autistic community and hear their side of things my opinion has obviously totally changed since then, but I just wanted to be honest with you on a thought I had right at the beginning of this. My son is autistic. Nothing I could have done was going to change that fact. I can do my best to help him gain those communication skills that will ultimately make his life easier, but I cannot do more than my best. Uh, the rest is entirely up to him, down to his own motivations, his own, like, cognitive capabilities. I cannot change those things. Those things are out of our control. Out of our control. Do you know what a weight was lifted when I truly internalized that thought? I can't change this situation. If you are feeling like you are trying hard to change this situation and you know your world is crumbling around you and there's nothing you can do, I want you to let go of trying to change those facts. Let go of trying to control the situation. And I want you to do this by always keeping in mind three very important things. One, achieving neurotypical milestones or doing things in a, in a typical way and a typical order does not make you any more valuable or valid as a person. Two, if you are a parent to an autistic child, that is who you are. Embrace it, own it. 
you know, work hard, learn, advocate, connect, just own it because you, you can't fight to change it. Find the confidence to embrace it. And three, although you cannot change facts, you are absolutely in control of something. You are 100% in control of how you deal with those facts. And there are many, many positive ways to deal with this hand that you've been dealt. So that's it. Control what you can, let go of what you can't, um, understand that your best is absolutely enough, and that autistic children are no less valuable, important or amazing than neurotypical children. They are just different. It sounds so simple when I say it out loud, doesn't it? But it, it really took me a while to um, come to, truly come to that way of thinking. So there's my lesson for today. Thank you for listening and I will be back again with another one of these soon. Bye!